What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. So today's video topic, we are going to talk about exhaust. Specifically to the V6 crowd, I know there is a ton and ton of people out there with V6 Chargers, V6 Challengers, Durangos, Chrysler 300s. There is tons and tons of V6s out there and there's no denying that they usually don't get a lot of love but today we're gonna give them some love. So the main thing we're gonna talk about is how to make them sound good. What works, what doesn't, what's affordable, and how to do it. So with that said, get you a cold one. I got my Yoohoo right here, let's get it. So the very first thing I'm going to suggest and recommend you not do if you own a V6, anything, everybody wants to do it, don't do it. And that's going to be you wanting to cut off those mid resonators or as some people call them, mid mufflers. Don't do it. And here's why. Oh, we did on it. Still got stock converters there and there. Comes with a factory X pipe. We deleted the two mid mufflers or mid resonators and left the rear mufflers right there, right and right there. We'll let you guys hear it in a minute. Give it gas. with the mid resonators or mid mufflers, whatever you want to call them, cut out, but they left the factory mufflers and it sounded horrible. Sounded like a tin can with rocks in it. Nobody wants their car to sound like that. Believe it or not, those resonators in the middle of your car or your mid mufflers, they do a lot and their main job is to make your car not sound like trash. It takes out the drone and it gets rid of all that raspy nonsense that sounds like tin cans and rocks beating together and destroying themselves. Now for those that are wanting to cut something off, what I do recommend and what actually sounds very, very good, leave the resonators on in the middle of the car or your mid mufflers, but cut off the rear mufflers towards the bumper. Still got the stock converters. Got a factory X pipe, still got the factory resonators or mid mufflers, and we did a mid, uh, rear muffler delete and kept the stock tips. We'll let you guys hear it in a minute. There it is, right there, and right there. That's what it looks like in the middle. So if you have one, you should do that if you don't want a lot of sound, just a nice detail. 2016 Dodge Challenger V6. Muffler delete. sounds very very good going down the street. The exhaust note actually reminds me a lot of some of the super tuner cars out there like a GTR, 
or an inline six, it has a really, really throaty exhaust. Now don't get me wrong, it's not gonna sound like a Hemi or a V8, but it has a very nice tone to it. Very clean, and the way I would say, respectable. And it would be a car that you would wanna get into every day, drive it, you'd hear the exhaust note in the cabin of the vehicle, and it would be something that you could enjoy every day without getting annoyed. And the people on the outside of the car not getting their ear holes raped. That's gonna be the most affordable, cheapest, easiest thing you can do to your V6 that's gonna make a huge sound difference and actually sound good. And it being the best bang for the buck. So I would rate that number one as a great way to make your V6 sound really good. Now let's get into option number two. Now for those that are looking for something a little more aggressive, something a little louder, but still sounds really, really good, has a good tone, very, 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 very little rasp, we're going to talk about another option right after this Yoohoo break. So option number two for me would be removing the rear mufflers, removing the resonators in the middle of the car or the mid mufflers and replacing them with Flowmaster Super 10s. 20 Dodge Challenger V6. Really beautiful car. What we got done on it for you guys? There's a factory converters there and there. Then it goes into an X-Pipe factory. Then what we did, she wanted the Flowmaster Super 10s instead of the stock mufflers. So that's what we did. Their wishes are command. 842518. Then it's two and a quarter pipe out the back on each side. And then we did a rear muffler or resonator delete right there. And right there and let the factory tips on it uh, out the back to keep that factory look. Flowmaster Super 10, rear delete. trying to dump a tremendous amount of money into this car. This may be a starter car 
This may be a car that you're just dealing with for the time being until you can upgrade to say a Hemi or something like that. But in the meantime, you want to spice up that exhaust. You want it to sound a little bit better. You want to hear it. You want to enjoy the car a little bit. And some of the $1,200 or $1,500 exhaust systems, honestly, in my eyes, don't sound any better than these two options. So I hope the video helps you guys out, gives you something to think about, perhaps points you into a direction of what you want to do with your vehicle. So give the video a thumbs up, put a comment down below what V6 vehicle you have, whether it's a Charger, a Challenger, Durango, whatever it is that you're trying to make sound better, or perhaps you already have an exhaust system on your V6. Comment down below what you did, what you went with. Are you happy with it? Are you not happy with it? Would you change something? I'm sure it'll help some others in the comment section down below. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. We upload videos weekly across all the Mopar platforms, trucks, cars, Jeeps, all of it. If it's a Mopar, we have it on the channel. We want to talk about it. We want to see it. So as always, stay safe out there, and we'll see you guys on the next one.